Hey everyone, I'm coming to you live from the new Fab Lab. When we go back to things in person, hopefully you guys stop by and use the machines you're learning about right now. But I want to make a quick video that just talks through how to export a, an image from Inkscape. If you want to cut it in Roll and Cut Studio, because I know a few of you have been looking through some of the Inkscape tutorials and using a more advanced design program to design stuff, and that's great. But um, the Inkscape files don't open in Roll and Cut Studio. It doesn't like them, so you have to turn them into a special type of file to be able to open them there. So let's say you have, you've been using Inkscape, and you have a nice Arsenal logo here, and you want to um, cut this out as a sticker in Roll and Cut Studio with your vinyl cutter. It's pretty straightforward. Just, well, there's one little trick to it that's kind of annoying. So first, we're going to highlight your whatever you want to whatever you want to turn into your image. So you could have more stuff here if you just highlight what you want, though. Um, it'll only make an image out of what you highlight. So I'm going to highlight this logo. I'm going to go to File. Export PNG file. The PNG is the image file we're going to be um, using. Then over here, you can pretty much keep whatever the default is. Just make sure this here is selected as selection. Because if you do page, it's going to export the entire page in this big two foot image. We just want our selection. So I'm pretty sure if you select something, it's going to default to selection. Um, pixels is fine. If you want to up it to 300, you can. 200 for these is probably fine. Then you're going to go to export as. Click on that button. And this just lets you choose where you're going to save it on your computer. So I'm going to save mine on my desktop. I'm going to call it Arsenal logo. It probably gives it some weird default name in the beginning. So you have to set that. Otherwise, you might not know where it gets saved. And now you think that I just saved it. But unfortunately, I did not. I just told it where to save it. So the one annoying thing is you have to then click one more button. You have to click the export button. And that will actually save your file or export it as an image file. And if I go look on my desktop, there's the Arsenal logos. I now have a file somewhere here. I probably should have cleaned my desktop before I did this. Uh, where are you? You gotta be somewhere on here. Oh, there it is right down there. So I have a file that is actually an image file. It's not an Inkscape file. It's a, a regular bitmap image file. And this image file now, you should be able to just drag and drop right into Roll and Cut Studio and do the outline trace thing and make your sticker. 